Hi, so I will answer the question. Should you rotate your antifungals when you do a candida protocol? But this will be the same if you do a protocol for SIBO, for example, or for any other uh, gut infection or, or gut dysbiosis. So I, I have a course on how to heal your gut naturally. I have a protocol uh, where I explain how to heal from SIBO, from candida, from any any other type of um, uh, dysbiosis, uh, how to heal your digestive system in general, uh, how to heal your stomach and so on. So um, everything I will say in this video uh, is according also to what I say in, in my, in my uh, course. It's, again, I, I'm talking about that because I have this protocol. In case if you are new on my channel, uh, this is just uh, to clarify uh, this. Uh, my whole channel is dedicated to natural health, how to heal naturally and especially how to heal your gut naturally. So watch my other videos on my channel. I have many videos about gut health in uh, particular. Um, so yeah, so should you rotate antifungals when you do a candida protocol? But again, it's the same if you do a protocol for SIBO. Should you rotate the, uh, you know, the natural antibi antibiotic uh, remedies? So the answer is no. Why? Um, so you will see some people on the internet um, recommending to rotate. Why? It's because they use the same logic than for chemical antibiotics and chemical antifungals, for chemical drugs. Okay, the logic, their logic is that, um, uh, you know, a, a bacteria can become resistant to antibiotics. You know, if you take many rounds of antibiotics, after some time, bacteria will become resistant and they won't die anymore when you will take the next round of antibiotic. Okay, so they apply the same logic when you use natural remedies for your gut dysbiosis, for your gut infection. But it is completely different on so many levels. I, I will try to, expl to, to explicit that uh, in this video. So first of all, um, what you use at least if you follow my protocol, I only recommend natural remedies. I never recommend chemical drugs. I explain it in many of my videos. Chemical drugs are very often the number one cause of your dysbiosis, the number one cause of your gut issues. Okay, so um, that's why I explain in many of my videos that I'm very against um, chemical drugs. Okay, for, for, for gut issues in general, but in general, for, for your body in general. But anyway, so uh, the main problem with chemical drugs is that they are isolated molecules. Molecules. So that's how they make chemical drugs. It, it's always, it always originates from something natural, from a plant or some, something else but they will isolate one or two or maybe three molecules in that plant and make a drug out of it. Not only it's isolated, but also it is synthesized, okay? Because they want to patent their drugs, so they want to be able to sell it and to make money with the drugs. And because of that, they have to synthesize the drug. That means that it, it becomes something artificial made in a lab. So it's not natural anymore. Okay, so these are two things important to understand about chemical drugs. So yes, bacteria can become resistant to chemical antibiotics. Why? It's because chemical antibiotics, again, they are made with only one or two or three molecules. So it's very easy for the bacteria to recognize these one, two or three molecules because there's just only a few of them. So it's easy for them to recognize these few molecules and to uh, develop resistance against these specific molecules. But bacteria cannot build resistance to natural antibiotics and natural antifungals to natural remedies, because natural remedies are what we call a totem. That means that it's hundreds of different molecules that is in your remedy, hundreds of different molecules. 
So bacteria and fungi cannot build resistant, resistance to hundreds of different molecules that uh, work and act synergistically together against the infection. This is the main reason why bacteria and fungi cannot build resistance to natural remedies. Okay? Um, so, no, you, you, you don't have to rotate because they cannot build resistance to natural stuff, to natural remedies. Okay? Um, I wrote a, an article a while ago um, about that, where I talk a little bit about the totem of the plant uh, in opposition to the chemical drugs and their isolated one, two or three molecules. Um, it's on my blog. I will put the link of this article under this video. This article was not really an article to explain what I'm explaining now. It was not about, um, about rotating and, and, and resistance. Uh, it was about should you be afraid of taking um, you know, natural antibiotics like oregano essential oil, for example. Because um, at the time I had many people asking me like, oh, if I take oregano essential oil, will it destroy you know, my gut flora, you know, because people have in their mind that oregano essential oil is the same as uh, uh, an antibiotic drug. It, it's not the same at all. <laughs> it's not the same. Okay, so that's why I wrote that, that article. Um, another thing I wanted also to explicit in this video is that uh, because chemical drugs are isolated molecules, as I just explained, they will target one very specific thing and it's very unnatural it it would never happen in nature it doesn't work like that in nature for example so antibiotics antibiotic drugs are only antibiotics that means that they will only destroy uh, bacteria but they won't kill uh, fungi they won't kill parasites. They won't kill viruses, if you believe in, in viruses. Um, okay, they will target only bacteria. And this is also why they are so bad. Because when you take antibiotics, they will destroy your gut flora because they will kill most bacteria. But they won't do anything to fungi. So fungi will take over and replace the bacteria you killed with the antibiotics. And then you will have an imbalance and you will have a, a fungal infection. Uh, I say infection because actually there's nothing like, th there's no infection. There, there, there's, there's no such thing as an infection. There's a good reason why they are here. Um, I, I guess I will do, <laughs> I will make another video about that. But uh, yeah, an infection is not there to, to uh, hurt you. It's there to help you actually. You need this infection right now because without it, you would feel worse. But I, I, I will make another video about that. Um, but yeah, so uh, I, I just talked about chemical antibiotics, just targeting bacteria and not the other things. Natural remedies are broad spectrum. They target not only bacteria, but also fungi, but also parasites, but also viruses, okay? It's broad spectrum. That means it's it will kill or address all of these infections. Th there's no such thing, such thing as an essential oil that is only killing bacteria and not killing fungi or vice versa. No, they, they will uh, work on everything. That's why, that's another reason why it's so much better to use natural remedies compared to chemical drugs. And because, again, it's broad spectrum, it's strong enough, it's powerful enough so that you don't need to rotate your antifungals or natural antimicrobials. Okay? Um, so, yeah, so, some people, I, I saw that some people recommend to, to rotate. Uh, to people who, who people who do a, a candida protocol, their their natural path or the person whom they follow, tell them to rotate, and so it's like one week berberine, one week caprylic acid, one week oregano, and they alternate like that, and it's it's you know usually just one antifungal or maybe two together, but no more. 
I think this is a very bad strategy. Uh, it might work in some cases. Maybe it might work for people who don't have a very severe infection. But um, my recommendation is to take at least four or five different natural antifungals, antimicrobials together for long enough, not for one year, eh? because I, I saw people taking these things for one year. That I think that's crazy. That's way too much. Uh, also, it depends on which one we're talking about. For example, I, I don't recommend to take essential oils for longer than one month. Uh, again, it depends on the essential oil you take. For some essential oil, you need to take it less than that. So it, it all depends on what you take. But anyway, um, I think that you need to take at least four or five antifungals, antimicrobials, natural, of course, together. Okay, If you just take one or two, it's not powerful enough for most people. And if you only take one or two, uh, it will just take so much longer to heal your dysbiosis. So in my opinion, you should take, you know, enough of the antimicrobials, antifungals together for long enough for it to work, plus the diet and, and everything else. Uh, it's, it's all detailed in my course that is on my website, thecandidaslayer.com. I have also many videos on my on, on this YouTube channel that you can watch about that. Um, but yeah, and, and also the last thing I wanted to say also, um, I, I've seen people so taking antifungals, antimicrobials for months and months and months. It's not supposed to work like that. Yeah, it can take longer for some people. It can take, uh, you know, less time for other people. You know, usually my protocol lasts, again, I, I don't like to give a number because it really depends. Everybody's different. Not everybody has the same type of dysbiosis, the same issues. But roughly, I say it's a, about three months. Of course, you need to, you know, be careful and s still be careful after that and... So I say roughly three months. So you should take, you know, the antifungals and antimicrobials long enough together, you know, four or five or more together, as I explained in my course. Uh, and also I wanted to say that if, if it lasts, like if you can't heal, I've seen people taking the essential oils for months, like for over a year because they feel that they, they cannot heal when they stop the the, uh, the antifungals. They feel better when they take them, but as as soon as they stop, all the symptoms come back. In that case, you, you need to wonder why it's not normal that you became dependent on antifungals. If a protocol to kill candida or SIBO or any dysbiosis doesn't work, as I said in the beginning of this video, the dysbiosis is not the problem. The root cause is not your dysbiosis. Something caused the dysbiosis. It can be chemical drugs, it can be antibiotics, yes. So make sure that you don't take these drugs anymore, if that was the root cause. Very often the root cause will be uh, issues with the upper digestive system. If you don't digest your food properly in your stomach, then you will have dysbiosis. So if you try to kill your dysbiosis without addressing your issue in the stomach, you will never heal because you need to first heal your stomach. I have a whole video about gastritis. I will put the link up there. Okay, there are several reasons. There's There, there are also emotional reasons, spiritual reasons. Okay, so you need to address the root cause first and then to address the dysbiosis. But to sum up this video, and to answer the original question, no, I don't think that rotating is a good idea. I really don't think so. And, um, you know, many other candida experts on, on the web, on internet, agree. Uh, I, I think about um, uh, uh, Eric uh, Eric Becker, uh, the candida crusher. Uh, he, he, he has tons of experience. He has years of experience with candida, with thousands of clients. And he, he has the same opinion as me. So, uh, but yeah, again, I, I healed from candida overgrowth. I helped many people do the same. And I can tell you what works the best is not rotating and taking enough antifungals together for long enough and addressing the root cause and doing the right diet and so on. Okay, this is, um, this is all for today. If ever you want more details, if ever uh, I need to 
you know, go, um, you know, more into depth uh, about that, uh, about that subject, please let me know in the, in the comments. We can discuss that in the comments. You can also join my Facebook group, uh, the Candida Slayer Forum in English on Facebook. I will put the links uh, under this video in the description box. Okay, I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.